What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope that everyone's doing well. Today I am at Praia Vermelha, which is the red beach here near the Sugarloaf Mountain. And I'm gonna be basically walking from here, not on the beach today, but I'll, I'll be walking from here all the way until uh, Mureta de Urca, which is, um, it's kind of like a neighborhood where you can go and have drinks in the evening and whatnot. So I'm gonna show a bit around, a bit about, a bit around here and then walk from here all the way over there. So I hope you enjoy and let's check it out. Pretty busy, it's a Saturday today, so. I did a walk already here uh, a few months back. I think it was in December. So I wasn't gonna do another one today, but just wanted to show this area a little bit busier. It is definitely a really awesome beach to come to. Pretty safe. You can swim in it really easily, so it's not a strong current. And it's got like a nice park here where you can buy all kinds of stuff. It's a really hot day for a fall day in Brazil. It's about 34 Celsius. Kind of unheard of for uh, autumn in Brazil, in Rio. Oh, let's check out the Sugarloaf Mountain. I don't think I showed that. small beach but it's it's nice it's one of my favorites for sure easy to get to you just have to get to Botafogo and you can like basically uh, take an uber or something I took the subway to Botafogo station and then I took a bicycle from there to here you could always take an Uber as well. There's the uh, restaurant, the famous restaurant here. Let me just stop for a second. All right. I want to take a picture there. So let's walk through. We'll pass by the area where the Sugarloaf Mountain is. Maybe I'll cut through here. Very hot and sunny day, guys. So, <laughs> cold weather in Brazil is far and few between. I'm gonna go walk by the monument there. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys, if you're liking this video. We'll get all the way to Mureta de Luca. There's the security. So that up there is the first stage at Sugarloaf. And 
this is a monument they have here. So every once in a while, they'll have like a huge festival here. Now let's check out the entranceway to Sugarloaf. Today I'm using a speaker, so I'm hoping you guys can, uh, or a microphone, hoping you guys can hear me better today. Super windy. So there's the entranceway to Sugarloaf. I'm gonna do a video up there I think at some point although I've been there many times I still want to do one for my channel. Get a cab, Uber, very easy to get here. So there's a number of streets you can get um, that can get you to Mudeta, the Urca. Um, there's one over here, which I'm not sure if I'll take that one. I, th I might. Let's see. But uh, there's generally two streets that'll get you there. And this neighborhood is relatively safe. I wouldn't walk around here, you know, late, late at night when there's no one around and no movement. I think I'll go up this street. Because, you can, I mean, even though it's daytime, there's still always gonna be uh, rifters and stuff like that. Let's see if I can get across here. Yeah, I'll go up this street. Best bet. It's a relatively expensive neighborhood. But as I was saying, um, you can come, you can walk through here at nighttime, but it's just, there's not a lot of traffic. So keep that in mind. When you get to the small wall, which I'm gonna show you guys, um, generally there's a lot of people there. So drinking and whatnot, especially on the weekend. You wanna come here on a weekend, like a Friday night or a Saturday night. And you can even check out the the sunset. Man, I shouldn't have had that beer and water. <laughs> I'll hold it until I find some place. It's not so windy here. Apparently a really famous singer uh, lives in this neighborhood. I forget his name. 
Roberto Carlos, that's it, Roberto Carlos, probably you guys have heard of him, lives in this neighborhood. This is still considered Zona Sul. See if there's a lot of people over there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at this about this time. It's approximately like 2:30 in the afternoon, um, but you want to go there around maybe like four or five, and it usually goes until late. There's a really cool uh, harbor up front too, and a view of the Christ statue, which I'm going to show you guys. Pretty awesome. It's not a long walk. It seems like it's a long walk, but it's really not. I'd say it's about to get there, 20 minutes. And in fact, they have um, a beach close by that you can, I don't know that I would swim in it, but there's people who generally chill there. <laughs> Let's just check out. Very quiet here too, compared to Copacabana. <laughs> it's a dream where I live. You don't have the the noise. houses even cost in like the millions I think I saw one for 800,000 reais which is probably about like $300,000 Canadian US US or Canadian not bad for I mean you can't get a house for that cheap in in Toronto or Canada or anywhere you're in you end up being a slave for your for your house <laughs> and that's just my opinion So there's the harbor. Uh, let's just backtrack a little bit. Yeah, so the other street takes you basically closer to this harbor that I want to show you guys quickly. I don't know if you can see. Nice view of the Christ statue from here. Every day. look at me like they've never seen a camera before I think I mentioned that before so there's a cool dock area and there you can see the Christ statue from here
and there's two locations you can go to. Um, I don't know if I'll be here, wait a few hours and maybe show you guys, but maybe save that for another day. But it's a good place to like hang out and drink and have some snacks. super polluted so <laughs> don't swim in this and it it actually is part of uh, Flamengo and Botafogo beaches very very highly polluted so don't do it <laughs> See how it is with people. Let's give you a comparison. And there is some good bars to go to close by. Work our grill. That's that's what I would suggest. People already started with the party. <laughs> Generally, there's a lot of people on the beach that's just up ahead. Um, it's okay to like stay on the beach there, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend swimming in there, as I as I mentioned. I'll probably film here right now, and then I'll do a night view a night version on the same video. Even see the a view of the downtown. Let me see if I can zoom in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's very sunny. It 
it's a good walking spot too. You can just chill here in the shade, take a little walk, come back. By the way, Mureta is basically like little wall. So I'm just gonna go up to the beach and walk there and show you guys there and then I'll show you how it looks in the evening, hopefully. How busy it can be, even in the dark. I wonder how busy the beach is going to be, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be. Take a look at that church there. There are some like decent apartments here, but it's a little overpriced and I wouldn't want to be stuck in this area, to be honest. It, is an, it has one of a marvelous view, but that's probably one, one of the reasons why uh, the price is so high. Someone's doing a music shoot. haven't done a video over here yet so this is a great opportunity on a really nice beautiful day well I'm already seeing people in the water and the beach is semi busy <laughs> who wants to swim in that oh it's probably filled with shit man People boating it. Oh, okay, that person just took a dive <laughs> into the shit water. There's even a really good uh, restaurant over here called Belmont. It's just a little bit past here, maybe like 50 meters in front. Really popular. Security present. So here's the beach, guys, that I wouldn't swim in <laughs> in a million years. Not in a million years. I wonder where most of these people live, if it's convenient for them. Oh, you can see a plane landing. Crazy. And this beach is full of like, pieces of litter.
Pretty cool. I've seen this place like packed in other videos. Cool beach with a nice view. So if you keep going this way, uh, there's another area where you can drink and whatnot too. Quer dizer oi pro meu canal? Não? Tá tímido? <laughs> he didn't want to say anything. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the beach now and basically I will show how it looks in the evening here. Uh, you can't really see me, there. Very bright. Um, but I will show how busy you can get in the evening just back where we, where we started. It's pretty crazy. Um, and uh, before I get to that, I'll show you kind of like the main street of where the bar is. So let's head there now. So here's another restaurant you can check out. Garota Burka. I'm just kind of... I'm even using the... The lens for my camera, it's still so damn bright. Man. Crazy. It totally feels like February here in January. Insane. I told you, I told many of you guys, <laughs> the weather is generally really nice here in Rio. Even on the cooler days it's only when it rains it becomes really kind of shitty so don't come under this overpass late at night okay just a word of warning Oh, this is a radio station, it looks like. I'm not sure. It says Tupi Canal. So this is the restaurant I was telling you, Belmont. We're gonna pass by. They have a whole bunch uh, throughout the city. So you can always find one in pretty much any neighborhood you go to. And here we come back to where the the beaches. I'm just gonna cross here. And this other street will take me back where I wanna go. You'll see how many people will be here in the evening time a little bit later in this video. This is one of the main streets. It's good to, it's good to uh, get to know the area, especially if you're going to be coming here on holiday or something, if you want to come here. If you're watching my video, you're going to be pretty safe. Supermarket here. 
zona sul. I'm probably going to take a leak before I get back to the beach. I won't make it. If I found a side street, I'd use there. <laughs> I love doing these vlogs, walking around, showing people the city. There's the back part of the church. And one thing you can definitely do here is meet a lot of people. All kinds of cool people. Especially on the weekend. Always gonna be young people and old people to be honest. All of ages all ages. M a majority obviously are the younger crowd, but all kinds of people come and chill out in the Mureta and have a drink. Been here a few times way before I started my YouTubing. Subway restaurant. Place to get drinks. So they call those places where you can get beer and all kinds of drinks and stuff. Um, just went blank on me. Deposit. It's kind of like you bring the bring back the empty bottles and you can buy um, more beer and stuff. It's kind of like the surplus, I guess where the bars get theirs and stuff, or the guys selling on the beach buy theirs. You probably hear my flip-flops. I think they pretty much have everything you need here in this neighborhood and everything close by. So almost at the really popular bar they have here. If you go up towards even higher up uh, along the way or farther, farther up the way um, at Murrieta, they have like all kinds of other bars and stuff, small little snack places Urca. Bicycle. I didn't even realize they had a bike station here, which is pretty convenient. I'll probably hop that back on and go to the beach and then come back. Awesome. They have a bunch of other places. This is the bar you want to come to. 
when you want to get drinks. Pretty awesome. Look at grill. So guys, right now it's the sunset and I'm gonna walk through and show you how busy it is uh, here in Murata, like I promised earlier in the video, okay? So let's take a walk through. It's pretty damn busy. Uh, let's take a look. Just to give you guys a look at the sunset before it's over. Beautiful. Let's get walking. Everyone taking their photos and whatnot. Watch I don't get hit by a car. I'm also going to go to the other spot towards the end and show you guys how it is there too. Generally pretty busy. It's a pretty sweet location to come to. Better to film at this time before it gets really dark. Good vibes, guys. Yeah. 
Some people fishing here. I don't know that I would eat that fish. <laughs> but, yeah, oh, beautiful, beautiful sunset, guys. Makes it so worth it. So I'm gonna go now to the other part, which is maybe about 10 minutes walk from here. Um, won't make it too, too long, but won't show everything all the way. We'll just walk, I'll just walk there and uh, show you guys. So we'll see you at the other part of the of Mureta Durka.
Sorry guys, but I have to improvise on this video as well. The audio was cut out. So basically what I'm saying is Urca has some of the best shrimp uh, pastel in Rio. And I definitely recommend trying one out if you are if you really like shrimp and you're passing by here. As well, uh, I was talking about mentioning that there's a party boat going by. And as you can see, zooming in. So I'm uh, sorry about the audio. I really don't know what happened there. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to watch the rest uh, right after this. It's going to be a nighttime view so I'll walk around and show you guys how it looks in the evening. Cheers.
Agora tá de propósito. Assim, aí a gente vai ficar...